Thanks, Becky. That was my first joke. That's not Becky. Um, yeah, so Tate Hoskins. You can find him on Missoula's Homegrown Comedy. And then just do like a quick instant message. Where to meet, how much cash you got on you. That's how he works. Uh, lot, yeah, and then Cody. Cody right before him. Um, ironically, I work at a place where if you uh, joke about fisting one of the customers, chances are you'll get more attention and not fired. We're a, I'm a trucking company mechanic, and so like, if the truckers hear about that, they're like, ears perk up. Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, fella. Uh, Got some back in the sleeper cap that's not exactly working correctly right now. Is there any way you can take a look at that for me? Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, lots of Christian jokes out here tonight. Um, which, I'm not a giant fan of God. Which you may be able to pick up in the next three and a half minutes. Um, so, there's this Discovery Creation Museum thing that's uh, been popping up on my Facebook thing, on my Facebook feed for the last couple days. And I've been wanting to share it, but I finally did today, I wrote. Okay, if today I bomb at the Union Club, I can maybe go down to the Discovery Creation Museum thing down at, uh, whatever, it was a little, here, and, and be fucking hilarious by telling people how the world is like 6,000 years old and coming up with some pretty creative science. Yeah, that fucked up. Anyway, um, I know you girls are like sitting here thinking, how's this guy fucking single? Well, I am. I am single. I actually been eating a lot of Hungry Man dinners lately. Um, microwaving them up. I came up with a new thing though. I was like, okay, fuck Hungry Man dinners. Pregnant woman dinners. Okay, what these are is like a half a gallon. Okay, you got like four pickles frozen inside of a half a gallon of shame flavored ice cream. Oh, I'm fucking with you. Pregnant women don't have any shame. Um, oh, John, I think that's funny. Uh, yeah, so I got more like offensive jokes ready to go. Like anybody, anybody ready for some abortion jokes? Anybody? Who's not ready for some abortion jokes? No. Oh, oh, too soon? Okay. Anyway. Um, what's that? Oh. oh, we just got a we like third conversation going on back there. Um, yeah, no racist jokes. That's where we were. Uh, abortion! Abortion? Yeah! How about a miscarriage joke? I got a miscarriage joke. Girl I know says, I got seven brothers and sisters. That means my that means my parents had sex at least seven times. And she's and she goes, Oh, you know what? Actually it was maybe like eight. I think they had a miscarriage. How do you even handle a miscarriage? I was all fucking what do you think? Gloves! Okay, that was awesome. Anyway, uh, so nobody thinks they're racist. Who thinks that they're not at all racist in the crowd right now? Raise your hand. No, zero percent. Okay, I'm going to give you, no, I'm not going to give you, I'm going to take a thousand dollars of your money out of your bank account right now and put it on a race, a foot race, thousand yard dash between a Jamaican and an Eskimo. Who the fuck are you putting your money on? That's what I thought, the Jamaican. When's the last time you saw a Jamaican looking at the ground like shuffling, mumbling to himself? Fucking never. Anyway. Um, I'm, what? No? Okay. Hey guys, really great to see you tonight. Union Club, we'll leave you with a little piece of hard earned advice. Butt plugs are not for stopping poop. Good night.